Hey guys, it's Tom. So a movie that came out at the theaters over the weekend is Dirty Grandpa, a new comedy film directed by Dan Mazer. Mazer? It doesn't matter. It stars Robert De Niro and Zac Efron. Now if you guys watched my most anticipated movies of 2016 video, you would know that I was looking forward to this movie, mainly because of the two stars in this movie. In this movie, Robert De Niro's wife has passed away, and before she died, she told him to get back out there. And so he takes his grandson, Zac Efron, on a road trip down to Daytona a beach. Now right off the bat I'll say this, Robert De Niro and Zac Efron have amazing comedic chemistry. This is probably the raunchiest I've ever seen Robert De Niro in a movie, and Zac Efron, ever since the movie Neighbors a few years ago, has proven that he's not that bad of a comedic actor. <laughs> They also have good heart-to-heart -heart chemistry. Zac Efron and Robert De Niro used to be very close, but then Zac Efron grew up, became a lawyer for his dad's firm, and so this is another chance for the two of them to spend some time together, and it comes across really sweet in the movie. Now, this is a comedy movie, and it does have some really funny parts, but my main issue with it is that it's dumbed down by what I call excess comedy. The F word is in every sentence, there are dick and sex jokes, everywhere. And to me, it comes off as trying to get in the way of actual comedy. It's like, hey, how can we make this sentence that's not really that funny, but make it funny because it's a funny movie? Uh, just throw a sex joke in there, or throw the F word in there, ha <laughs> ha it's, it's so funny. So let's talk about some of the side characters in this movie. Now, Aubrey Plaza pretty much plays a sexed up version of Aubrey Plaza. I never found her that attractive, to be honest, although she's kind of attractive in that trashy, ugly sort of way, if you guys know what I mean. But she's fine in the movie. And there are also two characters in this movie that really got on my nerve at first. Zac Efron's brother, played by, now let me see if I can try and get this name correct. And also a shop owner, played by, once again I have to try to get this right, Jason Mantzoukas. Mantzoukas? He's from The League. If you guys watch The League, you know who I'm talking about. <laughs> The two of them, when they both came in the movie, I was like, okay, they could be pretty funny, they're kind of annoying. I'll talk about them later, but the other characters in this movie that I could not stand were the cops in this movie. They just, they said things and did things that only cops do in a comedy movie. Now, this is a comedy movie, but you have to sell me on the characters, and they just came across as cartoonish, and the things I just saw them do, and the things that I heard them say, which is like, no cop would ever say that. You know, is this comedy take place in a cartoon world? No, it takes place on Earth. Cops don't act that way, they'd lose their job. So if you couldn't tell, they, they really got on my nerve. Getting back to those two characters, I will say that in general, the second half of this movie does pick up from the first half. I laughed out loud at more of the jokes, I thought that those two characters didn't bother me anymore, and I thought there were actual more jokes in the second half, not just, you know, funny, funny, funny sentences. And I did think the second half was a lot better than the first half of this movie. So guys, overall, I would say that Dirty Grandpa is a pretty good time at the movies. I would say that if you're offended by excess language, or you don't really find that funny and that's not really your kind of comedy, then you may want to skip this movie. I can tolerate that as long as it doesn't dumb down the whole movie. And here I didn't feel like it did, so I was I was pretty okay with it. So guys, if you find yourself alone on a Friday night or Saturday night, you don't really have much to do, and you want to go have a good time with the movies and maybe laugh a little bit, I would say that Dirty Grandpa's not that bad, actually. I'm going to give Dirty Grandpa two out of four stars or a C. So guys, if you have seen Dirty Grandpa at the theater, let me know what you thought of it down below in the comments, and also let me know what is your favorite comedic performance by a dramatic actor. So guys, let me know all of that in the comments below. Don't forget to give that like button to click and subscribe for more videos. Thanks for watching. I'm Tom Rutia. If you're offended by excess language, or that's not really your kind of comedy and you don't really find that funny, then I don't mind if you skip this movie. <laughs> I would say if you're offended by excess language, or that's not really your kind of comedy and you don't really find that funny, what was I going to say? I would say that if you're offended by excess language, or that's not really your kind of comedy and you don't really find that funny, then go ahead and skip this movie. What was I going to say?